SpaceX, which is owned by billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk, is soon to become the first private company to build a spacecraft in order to dock with the International Space Station. If all goes as planned, this should happen later this month. And from now on, it appears the space race is a private enterprise endeavor rather than a competition between nations. Let's take a look. A new space race begins. Since the United States Space Shuttle program ended in July 2011, NASA has relied on Russia to deliver Americans to the International Space Station. But it comes at a cost of more than $50 million a seat. So the incentive to find a less costly mode of transportation has been an important factor for the private industry, and billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk is leading the way so far. On May 19th, the Falcon 9 will launch from the Kennedy Space Center at Cape Canaveral in Florida. Once in space, the rocket will release into orbit the Dragon capsule. That's a reusable spacecraft that will then be bound for the space station. If all goes to plan, a few days after that, it will dock with the space station in a procedure known as berthing and will deliver supplies to astronauts on board the station. What makes this really important is, is if we are able to dock with the space station, it'll be the first time that a privately designed a spaceship has been able to dock with, with anything. Um, and that will, I think, really uh, herald the dawn of a new era of space exploration. Elon Musk, an internet entrepreneur who founded SpaceX in 2002, sees the future of space exploration in the hands of entrepreneurs like himself. I, th I think, I think in, in order for us to make great progress in space exploration, we have to have a much larger role for the private sector. Uh, that's, not, that's not to the exclusion of government. I think there's still an important role for government, um, but that has to be uh, paired with an, an even larger role for, for private industry. Musk has signed a multi-year contract with NASA, which will eventually use the Dragon capsule to transport astronauts to the space station. That should come within the next two to five years. The U.S. space shuttle program, which began in 1981, ended with the final voyage of the Atlantis in July last year. It had a costly and problematic run. Two tragic incidents killed a total of 14 astronauts, and the cost was astronomical, as high as almost one billion U.S. dollars per flight. To usher in a new era, Musk has set out to reduce the cost of space travel to a fraction of that. Operating the Falcon 9 and the Dragon costs roughly $120 to $130 million per flight, and his spacecraft is reusable. In such conditions, it's not surprising industry experts are thrilled to see private investors reach for the stars. David Keaton, CCTV.